Greetings! This is a video overview of Google Classroom for students and parents in Mesquite ISD. First, you need to make sure that you are logged into your Mesquite ISD account for the Chrome browser, which will show at the top right of the browser page. To sign in, simply click on that icon and choose to turn on Sync, then sign in with your Mesquite ISD email address, which is the student's username at mesquiteisd.org and the password, or you can go to the portal at portal.mesquiteisd.org, log into the portal, and access your Google Apps that way. So you can click on Google Classroom to access your classroom. Alternatively, once you are signed into Chrome at the top right, click on the waffle and you can find Google Classroom within the waffle and access it that way. Once you are logged in to your Mesquite ISD account and have accessed Google Classroom, your classes should show on the main page. Most students will be automatically enrolled into their Google Classroom for each teacher. However, if they are not, they can click on the plus sign, click Join Class, and then enter the class code that your teacher has sent you. This will allow you to join that classroom. To then enter the classroom, click on the name of that class. You will initially see the stream. The stream is where postings of announcements and as assignments are posted, they will show in the stream. You really only want to look at the stream to look at the announcements that are posted by the teacher. You will know it's his announcement when you see the teacher's icon next to the posting. If the class is being held online and a meet has been created for that classroom, you will find that information directly under the title and subtitle for that class. It should show right here where you see my cursor. On the left hand side of the stream page, you'll see if there's any upcoming work due for this week. Click on classwork to see all of your classwork. You can click view your work to see all assignments. On the left hand side, you can filter for assigned, things that you have that have been returned back to you, and items that are missing. Click the back arrow to go back to your classwork page. At the top, you'll see a link to go directly to your Google Calendar, where all of the assignments will show on your Google Calendar. You can also access the class drive folder where all documents that have either been submitted to the teacher through Classroom or have been created for students will appear in that folder. In the classwork section, everything is organized by topics. Teachers will identify these topics in different ways, so you will not see exactly the same thing in every class. Some may identify topics by the unit, some may identify topics by the week, others may identify by a particular topic. Within the classifying, you'll see assignments and the due dates on the right hand side. Click on an assignment to access it, then click view assignment. You can enter a private comment to talk to your teacher. Your teacher can then respond back to you. No other students in the classroom will be able to view this conversation as it is private. Always look for private comments. Where you see class comments, those are comments that can be viewed by everyone in the classroom. You'll see the topic of the assignment. You'll see how many points that assignment is worth, the due date, and then below that you will see instructions. To open the assignment that has been created for me, I simply click on the work that is showing. If no work is showing, that means that the teacher expects me to add a link or create a document. Click Add or Create to then add something already created from Google Drive, add a link, upload a file, this may be an image or a video, or create a new doc, slide, sheet, or drawing. If the teacher has already created a template for me, that will show here at the top. Click on that template to open and do the assignment. Then, when you have completed the assignment or added the document to your assignment, click Turn In to turn in that assignment. Not all assignments require a document to be turned in. Some may have a link that students are to go to or a form that they need to fill out. Click on the form that the teacher is requesting you to do. From here, you will complete the form and then mark as done. 
If your teacher has asked you to create something and then submit a link to that item, click Add or Create, click on Link to attach the link, and then click Mark as Done. Teachers may also attach material. The material icon looks like this versus the assignment icon. To look at material, simply open the material. You can click on it from this main screen or click View Material to open up a new page. As teachers add more topics to the classwork page, it may be difficult to scroll down and find exactly what you're looking for. You will notice a menu on the left-hand side that shows all topics so that you can click on that topic and be taken directly to it. Beyond view your work, additionally, you can see all to-do items for every class by clicking on the three lines at the top left and then clicking under Enrolled the to-do. This will open up a to-do page which shows you all your classes or you can filter for a particular class by clicking on the small arrow next to all classes. You'll show all assignments with no due date and then due dates will show in chronological order below. Any items that are done, you can click on done to view those things that you have completed. To get back to your classroom, click on the three dots and then choose the correct class. Additionally, you have other settings showing at the bottom of this pop-up menu. Click on Settings to be able to go in. Here you can change your profile picture. You can also turn on to receive email notifications. Note that younger students may not have access to their Gmail account. You'll want to set other settings to make sure you stay on top of what is happening in Classroom. For older students, it is a good idea to also download the Classroom app to your phone or other tablet device. You can also turn on notifications so that they show on your phone. And that is an overview of Google Classroom. If you have any questions or concerns, contact your classroom teacher for additional help.